r slash ask reddit men of reddit what's the most creepiest thing a woman has ever done to you i had an ex-girlfriend stalk me for five years i had a restraining order against her that included my grandparents she had been bothering them and my parents but i didn't think to include my sister because she lived in a different city this woman stalked my sister and ended up approaching her at a music festival she was wearing this is so insane one of those hats that has fake dreadlocks attached to it, and she was trying to pretend to be a stranger and get information from my sister. Now, keep in mind 1. She was white as duck. 2. That was the only thing she did to disguise herself. And 3. My sister duck I knew her already. It would be hilarious if not for the years of harassment and inconvenience she caused me. Every time I would move, she would send me something in the mail to let me know she had my address. One time it was a box with a flannel shirt, a half empty bottle of cologne, a broken toy axe, a bundle of pubic hair, and an 11 page letter written in crayon. Duck she was crazy. What happened to her? I'm not sure. She finally stopped stalking me once I got married. Girl I had seen for two dates had her best friend sms me anonymously claiming we met in a bar the night before and offering to come over to my place. I rarely went to bars as I worked night shift at the time so I knew I hadn't met anyone at a bar. Eventually after probing and pushing, I got the girl to confess. She said she was just testing to make sure I was trustworthy. Didn't see her again. Probably not as exciting as most here, but still super ducking weird. I was staying at my friend's house, sleeping in his guest room. Friend is at work, his girlfriend is at home. One thing about this room is that it has a very heavy door that has to be held open by something super heavy or else it slams shut. While I sleep with the door closed, I wake up in the morning and as I do every morning, I laid there for a bit longer before actually getting out of bed. Well this time all of a sudden I see the door open. The light is still off but the hallway light being on means I can see if someone's standing in the doorway. I have my eyes kind of open and I can see that she's just standing there in the doorway staring at me i didn't move i wanted to see wtf would happen because this was thoroughly freaking me out she just stood there for at least 10 minutes didn't look away didn't walk around the room i was laying at a weird angle where i could see her perfectly she could see me but she couldn't see that my eyes were half open i thought she may have been in there to grab something because there's a bunch of stuff in the closet clothes and such no 10 minutes I waited for her to do something or to walk out. Finally I flinched and feigned waking up and I heard her run out and the door slam. I got up, went into the kitchen and she was as bubbly as could be. Acting like nothing happened. Acting like she didn't just spend 10 minutes watching me sleep. Had one where she would remove the condom halfway into sex. No problem. Till she is riding and wanting me to blow in her. Hot at first. I didn't. Find out a year later she was dating a friend of a friend and did it to him and now he has a son. Another that was breaking the condoms on purpose. I suspect she was also poking holes in them. Cannot confirm that though. Have a couple of others. Met a girl at a bar and we ended up back at her place. We had sex and fell asleep. She seemed normal all night. And I saw no red flags at all. I definitely would have dated her again. Until she went crazy. I woke up around 5am and started getting dressed to leave. I had to get home and get ready for work. She woke up while I was dressing and totally freaked out. She was screaming. Angrily you can't leave. I explained I needed to go to work. And that I'd call her later. She was having none of that. Then she attacked. I literally had to physically fight my way out of her apartment. With a few scratches on my arm for souvenirs. I have no idea what her deal was. And I never went back to the bar I met her in. Cut off all of her pubes. Put them in between layers of scotch tape. Crammed them in an envelope with a pair of her used panties and put the envelope under my windshield wiper. There was a note. Read something like. I know we can't be together. But now you'll always remember me. She was right. Oh duck dude. You just gave me a PTSD flashback. A girl did this to me before. What the actual shit. When I was like 17. I had it completely blocked from my memory. It just came flooding back. The cut off pubes with scotch tape. I do not want to remember this. Really drunk chick asked me to dance and proceeded to keep trying to pull my dong out. Like. Forcefully. 
When it finally resisted enough, she called me a nerd and stormed off. What, you don't like being sexually assaulted? Duck and knee it. I fell asleep sitting next to one of my friends on the way home from a school field trip in 12th grade. I woke up to her using my hand to play with herself. As I began to regain consciousness she threw my hand at me and made a huge scene about it. I never talked to her about it. It bothers me to this day. Definitely top 3. I am so pissed off about those kind of things like, if the situation was reverse and it was a guy using a girl's hand to beat his meat it'd have been a whole scandal but here since she's a girl she can get away with this, I want to break knees. I hope you'll get better bro. I met this girl when I was out one night. She was nice, seemed normal, went to her house and there was pictures of me around her mirror. I would probably asked her for a pen, and signed my picture. What a fan. Do we need to explain how a mirror works? I was probably 9. It was after church service and there's this new lady there who took a liking to me. She was the new wife of the minister. We were outside waiting for the grown ups to come out. I think they were having a meeting inside. And this new lady took me to a bench nearby. We sat. Asked me lots of questions. Then she put my head on her lap. Stroke my hair while humming a lullaby like I'm a baby. It felt really uncomfortable and I really wanted to escape but I was a shy little boy and didn't want to offend her or something. Saw my sister from afar snickering at us. It went on for like 30 minutes but felt like hours. I was dying with cringe inside. Me and a friend. Both about 12 at the time. Had a car with 3 women and pull up and try to get us to go with them for a good time. The woman who got out the car was flashing her tits and rubbing herself. It was just surreal. We both just noped the duck out. I'll never forget a girl in the back seat flashing her tits as they drove off. Looking back it feels more sinister than it did at the time. Met a girl at a party. We flirted. Then we ended up in my bedroom. This was in my apartment. Heavy makeout. I suggest having sex. She declines. Heavier making out basically including anything that's not intercourse. I suggest having sex again. She declines. Fair enough. We stop the making out and plan to see each other again. The day we were supposed to meet. She stood me up. I had cooked and it was already time to meet. She told me that she doesn't want to see me again because I wasn't pushy enough. She liked men who were less soft and gentle. She basically told me that when she said no. I shouldn't have listened. I dumped my ex about 9 years ago and she pulled up outside my back door and held the horn down blocking the road for literally 30 minutes straight. I got in the shower and left via the front door and went to a friend's party. She could have been there for hours because she was still going when I left. Legend has it her spirit is still there honking. Woman I was engaged to was doing all the prep for the wedding. This was in her country and I didn't understand the language all that well so I was a bit limited on how much I could help her out other than helping to cut the invite cards out etc. She was a very hot tempered person as she was but as much as I asked her what tasks I could help out with she just refused to involve me in anything at all. And then complained that I wasn't helping enough. She argued and argued with me about how I didn't care despite my efforts to be involved in all the prep. It was all very manipulative. Eventually she actually pulled a knife out at me. I slapped it off her wrist and she stormed off. When she left for work the next day I packed my bags. Took a taxi to the airport and noped out of there. Played an MMO for a while where you could join 5 guilds. This lady was in 3 of them. Was always nice. But very flirty with me. Our guilds used team speak a lot and the two of us got to talking. Turns out though we lived a few hundred miles and an international border away. We shared a crap ton of interests. She claimed to be in her 20s. I was over 30 at the time we became friends. Though she made it very clear to everyone that she wanted more. In fact, she referred to me as her nickname I went by in that game. I found out she was going to be traveling to an area near me right around her birthday. So I offered to meet her in a public setting that's when she dropped it on me. She wasn't really in her 20s. She was turning 16. Technically, over the age of consent but, yes yeah, still a kid. Even if there weren't legal issues, I simply was not interested in dating anyone that young. I have a 5 year rule. I only date people that are within 5 years of me so I had a long talk with her. Explained I was damn near twice her age. And while her interest in me was flattering, I wasn't interested she was devastated. Crying. 
telling me I was making a mistake because she would be the best girlfriend future wife possible. That age was just a number. Finally, I told her that in 2 years when she turned 18 and brought proof of that, I would consider going on a single date with her if she was really that serious and that if all went well I would consider making an exception to my 5 year rule. But under absolutely no circumstances would I ever date or even meet with someone that was under 18. She wasn't happy, but eventually accepted that was the best she would get, and we stayed in touch even after I left the game. Fast forward almost but not quite 2 years. She has finally found a boyfriend. She hits me up on TeamSpeak. She wants me to travel up there to meet them because in her words she wants me to know exactly what the hell I missed out on by unfairly and unreasonably turning her down. Age is just a number and shouldn't have gotten in the way. She has since become more normal. But yet, those two incidents really creeped me out. No, I have never dated her. I had dated other women I had met in games before then. Never have since. I've told this before. Little after I turned 21 I was at the bar with some friends. Shooting pool enjoying a beer. This group of rough looking 45 plus women come in. They slowly make their way over to the same side of the bar. We keep minding our business having fun. I'm standing at the end of the table. When I feel a hand slide down the back of my pants and boxes and grab my ass. Then she screeched out loud. Boy your mama raised you right then walks back to her friends all proud. The bartender kicked them out shortly after. My buddies were cool. They don't give me shit about it. We were all just like WTF. I've never groped some random person like that. I'm sorry to all the women who get groped like that. It completely catches you off guard. It's meant to be a compliment, but just makes you feel used and revolting. My ex was bisexual and at a party she tried making moves on my younger sister who was only 15 at the time, X was 17, and touching her without permission. I got angry and told her to stop, and so the party ended soon after that. A week later not only did she not apologize, she tried to organize a beat up involving both me and my sister along with a few friends. So I told her I don't want her near me or my sister again. This made her so angry she called me on the phone and told me she had a knife and if I keep acting this way she'll use it. But she also said she was on the way to my house right now. I was freaking the duck out at this point. But I was hoping she was just bluffing. However sure enough 20 minutes later she arrived right outside my door. I texted her saying I wasn't going to let her in. But she kept ringing the doorbell constantly. I texted her again and again to go away before eventually saying after a few minutes that I would call the cops if she didn't leave right now. But this finally got her to leave. Luckily, I haven't seen her since. Someone I worked with sniffed the inside of my jacket that I forgot to bring with me. Later she gave me a date with her as a wedding gift only to be used before the wedding. And asked me if I was truly happy on my wedding day. My one and only Tinder date. Turned out she had signed her divorce papers that day on the day she laid out her one year plan for us to date and get married. Let her know I wasn't interested in a second date she thanked me for my opinion and declined not having a second date. Very luckily I hadn't been able to meet her at my house at the start of the date like she suggested and we had to meet someplace neutral. I don't like to think what would have happened if she'd known where I lived. Considering that I'm not attractive or rich or otherwise someone women are usually interested in this was a very weird situation. It was just a hi, I don't know anything about you, but we're going to be married by the end of the year. No, your opinion isn't relevant. Wearing my university sport jacket when I went to grab a fast food order, some woman I've never seen before shouted hi and waved at me like we were best friends. Gave an awkward confused wave back and left with my food. A couple hours later I get a friend request on Facebook from someone I recognize as her. Best guess is she saw my jacket and stalked the sport roster to find my name and added me from that. Got blocked real quick. That or on a first date she asked if you were going to kill me. How would you do it? I know how I would kill you. Then proceeded to tell me her plan on how she would kill me and get away with it. Older woman was cutting my hair. She was 60s. I was about 24. She rambled on about how she loves bearded men. And I might be old but I can still look at the menu. She then told me about how she likes to go to clubs with her son in his 40s cause she's women and likes younger men. While this was happening she kept running her hand down the front of my shirt. I later brought it up to other employees there. 
who just laughed it off and said oh yeah that's just her. Apparently sexual assault is just part of her personality, the compliments didn't bother me too much until she started getting handsy. Rape. Another woman pinned me down on the beach on our first date all seductively than once it was really quiet. She said unironically I want to murder you. Ro. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.